Hey, morning everybody. Right, so uh, we are back into Broughton Moor this morning and uh, just one of these rides that uh, we make up as we go along. So yeah, we're at the Hawk, uh, which is well, near Broughton Mills. <sighs> So coming up here, just for a short ride, it's good to go up onto a walnut scar and then go to that end peak there, which I think, if I remember right, is White Maiden. And you've got a sunny view back down towards Morecambe Bay. Well, this will bring us back back down to Stevenson's ground, I reckon. I've been down as far as that little junction uh, and with that I've been across, back across St. Oh shit! To the fire road on the other side but uh, never been down here and uh, today I wish I'd stuck the uh, mud guard on Try and stick out of that if, if we can. So I'll tree that. So we're going to continue down this little trail here. It's a bridle way. It'll swing around to uh, Stevenson's ground. 
that uh, I went up the fire access road on Yon side. Up so far. And then I've come down this one, this side. A few gnarly techy areas that uh, I'm going to have to work on. It's uh, self confidence and all that. You know when we come in a cropper on Yon side there, it's uh, it's quite a steep drop down. And it's a hell of a view though. We've just lost a bit of uh, blue sky. Uh, high cloud though today. So that's uh, core fell up there. Not core fell, core. It's a, an outlier of the uh, Coniston Fells or an outlier of the Wainwrights. <coughs> Cracking views up there, but I've never yet to uh, get up there when it's not been windy. Always windy. But uh, storming views, really. So we're just going to go up and over yonder then. Taking the view before we hit the parkhead road, I reckon. Ooh, bugger! Jeez, nearly went over. Right, so if you're going to go back over to High Kilnbank Cross, this is where you want to fork off. Fork off. There's a fork, indistinct fork in the path here. And it'll take you down uh, through, there's a gate in your moor there. So as soon as you stop, I lose all my that's the word I'm after. Confidence? No, not confidence really. Oh, Jesus. Look at that bastard. Now you see, folks, I'm just not comfortable with that. It's, uh, <sighs> did I manage it last year? Can't remember. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway. That little section, it's probably about, what, 30 or 40 yards. Done time to get off and walk your bike through. You'll be thinking, no doubt, some of you, well, he's not recorded it all. You're right. I haven't recorded it all. But I have recorded the bits I've, uh, I've ridden. So, you've not missed out too much. And I don't want to go a perler on there today or any day. I could do with someone giving me some techie advice, I reckon. They're probably thinking, you rubbish, Brownlow. You rubbish. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll tell you that. Hey! Oh, jeez. Oh, How the hell I managed to keep that going? I don't know. A bit of wet grass and a bit more wet grass and. Oh, you bugger. 
just about held it together. Flat and a half. Ah oh dear, I don't know why I put myself through this one. And I'm just heading up now. Uh, still not sure of my plans. We're going to head up to Heingill. High Kilnbank Cross. Starters, oh, we're doing all right. We've actually only done eight miles, believe it or not. So we'll, uh, we'll crack on. We're just above um, Kilnbank Farm, or High Kilnbank Farm, above. Uh, is it Ulfer or Dunnerdale? I don't know. Anyway, we're in Dunnerdale. Dun oh God, dear. <laughs> We are in Donnerdale, as uh, oh, we're just going to shoot down. This will bring us out near the school at Ulfa, and uh, then I'll have another think as to where I'm going. Nice up right away, this. Come a little bit unstuck on some of them woody bends. Well, to say that a uh, little bit of road work and that pig of a climb at the end of the uh, valley, I thought I'd uh, stretch my legs. Uh, so, looking at doing this sometime as a descent, uh, this is uh, the bridle way that cuts over from what Broughton Mills to Stanistar.
So I caught from the road down yonder. Some of it's rideable. Uh, most of it's uh, I've had to push a few odd uh, steep sections. Uh, climbed all the way up here, and then uh, next 30 or 40 yards are going to be interesting. It's not going to be rideable. We've got uh, a lot of watercourse running down the path there. It's all an adventure than us. Oh, oh that's nice and cold. Ooh. Gonna have this problem for a while, I think, until uh, until the paths dry up a little bit. Oh, cracking, isn't it now? It's gone warm as well since uh, since lunchtime. It's nice to be riding in short sleeves at long last. Whatever you're thinking, Brown Road coming up here, you're back. I love riding around here. There's so much variety. Well, we're at the top of the hard bit. We're not at the top, we're at the top of the hard bit. And uh, yeah, some of it's been rideable and some of it ain't. Path at some at quite a bit of a stage, it was just flowing water. Uh, the path wings its way round back of this little uh, outcrop here and then winds its way up the fell there. I reckon, anyway, I'd better take a check of the map. map. So, when I came out of the new field, I didn't know what to do to be honest. Just toying with just going back up to Kilnbank Cross and around the bridle way and back to uh, the Hawk. Glad I haven't though. I mean, yeah, that was uh, that was a tough mother to come up there. You can see why everyone just goes downhill here. But uh, you've got to set yourself a challenge once in a while, haven't you? So, clunked out and got out onto uh, easier going now. Still a bit of uphill to do. Uh, we'll come out just this side at the base, well not quite at the base but just this side of Great Stickle. It's a uh, dead zone for the Ode Strava up here. I've done several runs over here and uh, Strava just gives up the ghost. So uh, let me know if it uh, happens to you, it happened to me mate, so I know it's not just me. It is rather steep. This our section is any road. that little bit there.
I'm sort of running into any walkers and go flying off the side. Oh dear. So we usually come upon that back fell there, follow the walls round, come around the back of uh, Great Stickle here and then up and over. Ah, this isn't bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, you're right, well I'm not right sure of uh, access rights around here. I'm going to stick to the bridle way. It's only fair. We've gone slightly wrong. Uh, didn't really want to come this slow down. Because we've got a bit of a bit of road work. Never mind, eh? We're just down at uh, the church at Broughton, Broughton Mills. Pick you up when we get to the end of the road. Right, so we're just about to come off the uh, the road and uh, doing a big U-shaped loop, as it were. We're coming up, going up this side of the valley, and we're going to come back down to the. See what I mean about this being a great path? I mean, the views today has to be a clear day are uh, fantastic. Fantastic. They're all the way right out there into the Irish Sea. They're superb. I know on a clear day you can make out the coastline of Wales. been up on uh, Stickle Pike in the past and you can quite clearly see the mountains of Snowdonia. It's stunning, absolutely stunning.
Right. That's the last main climb done. I mean, there's a few, few uppies on this uh, track going back, but that's the, uh, that's the crux done. And now we've got a nice, can be a fast one, this one. Uh, makes it look fast when uh, the bracken's up, because it looks like you're flying through. But, uh, you can see in front of us the path snaking around the, the uh, fell side. a bit mucky. So you do this route in the uh, summertime, just watch yourself. The uh, bracken does get really high and uh, those little beasties called ticks will soon latch onto you. Oh, it's a little bit boggy there. Just keep going Tim, who are you? Okay, keep going. Ah oh, dear. Yeah, look at that. Oh dear God. It don't get any better. That's the sort of... Oh, yes! <laughs> ah, yeah, <you> bugger. <laughs> ah. Oh, yeah, bugger. Here you go. That's it for off-road now. We are uh, freewheeling back down the lane. Oh, this loose gravel can be a crippler. <laughs> yeah, Just got to watch it down here on these corners. You'll be uh, you'll be off. Just coming up to uh, where we left off this morning, just just up here. I went up there to go up to uh, up to the fire trail. And we're just going to run this all the way back to the halt now. <laughs> 